Hi everyone, welcome to Boxing Blocks and guys and please if you're new to the channel make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now. Let's just go straight to it. You know, I did react to uh if you're Jack Bar fighting you know Jonathan Rice Nest, a guy who has about 13 wins of his record with just five five losses and only been knocked out twice, once by McKean and all the time by Magdamov. Magdamov. So, um, bro, you you want to give your take on Ajabba's top rank debut? Are you like you're happy for sure? We have we. I mean, you was happy when I told you that he, he, he switched uh, camp. Of course, team is now part of the top rank team. How happy? Uh, how happy are you about the guy fighting this upcoming weekend? Listen. Ever ever since I saw Ajabba, I was, I was a big fan of Ajabba. What I don't like about him is he's not... I'm going to be honest with you. You know, Ajabba is not making a name for himself. I don't know what's keeping him, but he can't do it. Even if he has to tap into the African market, he can't do it. You know, he can he can be no... He can, he can even tap into the international. He doesn't have to tap into the America side of it. But even though Americans, some people know his name... You know, of uh, of that little stint with his opponent that left the ring, he sh that should have been something to build or or, or kickstart his career off of. You know, it just seems like marketing wise, I don't know who's controlling controlling his his, his be him being marketed, but they're not marketing him correctly, right? They're not doing it correctly because you have to look at it, right? How is it that a job bar? Is still not headlining fights, but uh, Jarrell Big Baby Anderson, uh, uh, these upcoming heavyweights in uh, in in and uh, during the COVID were headlining fights. A job should be even if it's not pay per view. A job should be absolutely headlining a fight. He should not be on nobody's undercard. You know, he 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 has to slowly build his name up. Eventually, people will be like, "Okay, this this guy is the real deal," but he keeps head, uh, uh, headlining under other other uh, 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 um, undercards of 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 uh, uh, light light uh, light lightweight by uh, lightweight by uh, fighters, you know, featherweights. He's not. He wasn't even headlining under under the heavyweight fight. That that was quite disappointing, you know. And I really hope that they, they, they're being smart when it comes to marketing him, because even though Rajag was hard to market over, you know, with his little stint trying to try and uh, throw Anthony Joshua's name and and trying to uh, 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 get like a little bike going or try to kickstart his career off of AJ's name. No man, don't do that. Kickstart your career off of your name, you know. Daniel Dubois has been doing the same thing to kick, try and kickstart his career off of Anthony Joshua's name. That's what they all do. Kickstart your career off of your name. Make sure that people know who you are. You know, that up and coming fighter, that, that, that nightmare that he's going to be. You do that and people will know who you are. You know, but it's quite disappointing to know, you know, a fellow guy, a, 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 a decent boxer like F.A. Ajabba is still not headlining his own fight. That's, that's bullshit, man. Bro, it is his top rank debut. I mean, you don't expect him to headline a fight in his top rank debut. I mean, yeah, but I, I, I feel it, he doesn't. It doesn't need to be. I'm not even sure if it's pay per view. I don't think it's pay, this fight is pay per view. But during the COVID, you had different fighters uh, fighting. You know, you didn't know who they are, but they were still headlining the fight. That's what I mean. I'm pretty sure they don't have much, or if, if no audience, some audience, it should still be the guy that, that that should be, you know, eventually they will need him to headline his own fight. You know, how much longer do we have to wait for him to headline his own fight? You know, the guy is, is, is I think he's marketable. It just depends on who who is doing it, who is marketing that FA and how they're doing it. Because he's a little bit weird that uh, Alan Babish, you know, who who has four pro fights, 
He's looking to headline a fight very soon. I mean, I know his next bout is going to be on the uh, Joshua Boatsy card, but at the same time, he's becoming a huge fan favorite, and he's not a monster like uh, uh, like Ajabo. You know what I mean? He's not a. I mean, you look at Ajabo, you know this guy is uh, is, is the is the is the repackage. So I'm like thinking maybe I mean he cannot headline a fight, you know, against Jonathan Rice. Maybe against someone a, a more credible fighter, I guess. You know what I mean? So what do you think about that? Um, you know, it's 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 not much of of of, of a credible fighter because I was disappointed, but now it seems like he's stepping it up little by little. Eventually, you know, job is twenty six, twenty seven. Eventually, you know, you you can't keep doing it. I I believe this this absolutely has to be the last. Uh, 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 I don't I, a nobody that nobody knows. Eventually, he's gonna have to step up and fight Joe Joyce, Philip Pavlovich, uh, 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 um, Daniel Dubois, even Alan Babic. You know, eventually he's gonna have to fight one of those people. To make his way to be known as as uh, as 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 one of these uh, um, um, top heavyweight prospects, if not, man, he's gonna keep fighting uh, tomato cans. Eventually, it, it, people are gonna be like, "No, he a job was not that good." Because you fight tomato can, you're gonna you're gonna be fighting to their level. You know, you have to fight somebody who is on his, another up and coming contender. To where you could say, okay, I'm, uh, 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 I'm, 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 I'm better than this guy, you know, not, not, not no, not no Lago Kilazi, not no those guys with, you know, you, you fight to the level, you fought those guys and uh, you fight enough tomato cans, you start, you start relaxing basically, you, you won't give your all to, you won't give your all when it comes to, when it comes to fighting them. But eventually, when you fight a, a, a decent fighter, and then you you something happens, you lose. You wonder why you've been why you've been losing. I mean, why you lost? Because you've been fighting tomato cans, or you've been fighting these low level oppositions. You know, that's that's this guy said it the best. Um, the former light light heavyweight. I wish I could remember his name. I keep forgetting it. He said it the best. You fight you fight low, these low level oppositions long enough. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna start, you're gonna start acting like one, and eventually, when you face a better opposition, you're gonna get cleaned out. But he's on his way. This, this is a step up, and let's see what he does after this. Let's see what his team absolutely does after this. Let's see if Effie has improved. Let's absolutely see. It's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. I like, I don't care about the opponent. I care about how Effie has improved. You know. I, I, I care about if how FA what FA does in the later rounds. How tired does it get when somebody pushes him to the limit? We haven't seen somebody push him to the limit, but we've seen somebody clean out his clock. You know, somebody has dropped him who is not known as a puncher. You know, but what happens if somebody he fights somebody who's known as a puncher and the guy has more skills and pushes FA? How will FA a job do? How will he cope? That's the question. That's what I'm looking for. I know if he has the skills, I know he has the power, but does he have the will to actually continue on? So I'm gonna end it. Thanks, brother. I understand that you are not really happy about you know Ajaba not headlining because you look at uh, Carlos Takam. The last time he fought that guy, it was an headline, but. I mean, they're trying to build a Jabba up still, but I think when you already have 13 fights as a prisoner, and you, of course you have, you know, this track record of being the, f I mean, the, having the easy, having the fastest win in boxing history, the fastest win in boxing history. I know. Uh, stay blessed, Jungle Stumble guys, and uh, take care.